This video is for general information only. We are not attorneys. We're only here to help you fill out your complaint forms. Good luck filling out your form. Welcome. This video is designed to help you fill out the Manufactured Housing Dispute Resolution Program complaint form for Washington State. The public record notice on the form says, Complaints and related documents become public records once submitted to our office and may be disclosed to the public pursuant to the Public Records Act. Your complaint and related documents may be seen by other people. Please keep this in mind and do not provide personal information such as social security numbers, credit and bank account numbers, or medical information. Also, directions for completing this form state, you must complete all sections of the form, including homeowner, tenant, and park community landlord sections. Please type or print. Please include copies of related documents such as leases, rules and regulations, notices, or other correspondence that you believe support your complaint. Please send copies only. Do not include original documents. This is a sample of page two of the complaint form. We'll look at this form more closely later. Here are the items that you will need. The Manufactured Housing Dispute Resolution Complaint Form for Washington State, both pages. Your landlord's information, name, address, phone, and email. A copy of your latest current signed and dated lease. And if you're in a group, a printed copy of all common complaints, one for each individual's complaint form. You will also need photos or documents supporting any complaints that you are making. Please pause the video until you're ready to move on. We will start on page one. Let's start in the box titled General Complaint Information. Number one. Please indicate if the person filing this complaint is the, check one, tenant or landlord. I presume people who are filing these complaints are tenants, but please mark the one that applies to you. On to number two. Is the mobile manufactured home owned by the tenant? Do you own your home? Mark yes or no to the one that applies to you. Number three, is the lot space for the manufacturer mobile home rented by the tenant? Yes or no? I presume that if you're in a park, you are renting the dirt under your trailer. So you would mark yes, but mark the one that applies to you. Number four, are the rent payments for the lot space current? Mark yes or no. If they're not current, please explain why you are behind. Number five, is there a signed lease agreement? Mark yes or no and enter the date of your latest signed lease. If you do not live in a Hearst Park, you're done. If you do live in a Hearst Park, but have a previous and automatically renewed lease, mark the date, but after entering the date, write not a Hearst lease.
Number six, have you attempted to resolve this issue directly with the other party? Mark yes or no. If yes, how and when did you contact them? Some folks haven't directly contacted their landlord, but for Hearst Parks, the Leisure Manor Tenants Association has contacted Hearst and Son, so you can mark yes, and you can put in L M T A for Leisure Manor Tenants Association, February of 2022. If you're in a different park by a different owner, you would have to put a date and statement of whether you've tried to resolve your issues with your local manager or owner. Number seven, has an eviction been filed in court by the landlord? Mark yes or no. If yes, explain when and the reason why you are being evicted. Let's move on to the tenant homeowner information. Your first name, your last name, and middle initial if you have one. Every person has to file individually, but if you are husband and wife living at the same address, only one of you needs to file. Put your name, put your address, your city, state, and zip code. Fill in a day phone, evening phone, and your email address. Next is landlord community information. Put in the name of your park or community. Park owner is next. In many cases, it will be Hearst and Son LLC but it would be your own manager or owner's name as well as their address. The address for Hearst and Son LLC is 585 Bethel, B-E-T-H-E-L, Avenue, Suite 202. Their city is Port Orchard, State of Washington, zip code, is 98366. Enter the daytime phone number for Hearst and Son. Of course, you'll be putting your own park information in if you're not at a Hearst and Son park. The Hearst Day phone number is 253-651-5977. That's 253-651 five nine seven seven the email address for Hearst and Son is all lowercase Levi Black L E V I B L A C K at Hearst H U R S T Sun S O N L L C dot com Page two, that gives you the ability to fill in three different boxes of complaints. These you can hand write. Please list the RCW that you intend to complain about. If you don't know the RCW, go ahead and fill in your complaint and I'm sure they will look it up. At the bottom, you will see Return to Manufactured Housing Dispute Resolution Program, 800 Fifth Avenue, Suite 2000, Seattle, Washington, 98104-3188. The email address, if you'd like to email in your complaint forms, is capital M H D R at A G T lowercase dot wa dot gov. There's a statewide toll free number one eight six six nine two four six four five eight. There's also a local number 
which is 206-464-6049. The fax number, if you want to fax in your complaint, is 206-587-5636. The most important part of page 2 is the declaration. I acknowledge that my complaint becomes a public record once I submit it. I acknowledge that in order to provide dispute resolution services, the program will send a copy of my complaint and attachments to the other party. I declare under penalty of perjury under the laws of the state of Washington that the information contained in this complaint is true and accurate and that any documents attached are true and accurate copies of the originals. And please, please remember to sign, date, and put the city and state where you signed the form. It's very important. You have now completed your manufactured housing dispute resolution program complaint form. Never be afraid to file your complaint. The state of Washington is there to help you.